Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is a barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a, a great sense of drama here, a great sense of excitement and expectation. The Estadio do Dragao in Porto, distinctive in so many ways by comparison with its Lisbon rivals. So we stand for the Athens. performance and now here comes the response Denmark have opted to go 3-4-3 by the looks of it here, Jim. Yeah, it's one of these systems, Peter, where the front three are obviously the headline makers, but the back three have considerable responsibility and pressure on them, so a strong voice is needed to keep everyone switched on to their defensive duties. Everybody has to kind of play their part in getting behind the ball at times, and it's not always done because the focus is very offensive. That gets things running. Who do you, Jim, see making a difference here? Yeah, David Alaba, one of the most versatile players out there. He's just got so much positional awareness and intelligence. He can basically do a job anywhere on this pitch. He's got fabulous technique too, especially with his delivery in and around the area. He'll be eyeing up any set plays the opposition concede in that defensive third. Yeah, I'd have picked him too. Massively! Delivery, no joy. Austria can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. to get it forward quickly. Hinterega. Delaney. There's a long ball. Danger averted for now. Played into the middle. Austria have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. He's got options out wide. right side seems to have become a very good outlet for them now no doubt this is an area they've identified as a potential weakness in their opposition and they're willing to exploit it well the defense have two choices deal with the man or, or deal with the space another 
corner. Any better luck this time round. Up for the header! Just off target. A more than decent attempt, Peter. Change to the score, nil nil it remains. Tries to switch the play. Pilsen. Over to the left. Approaching the half hour mark. Hoiberg. Hoiberg drives it forward. Oh, that is asking for trouble. Heave to the back post. Jarg goes looking. <laughs> Hoists it forward. Well, that's where he wants it. He's through the middle. Now can he? He's had a shot! He's done very well to get to that. Hulsen is very sporting here to acknowledge the quality of the save. A lovely little footballing moment. have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. And we're off again. A tight old game so far. Can that change now? Forward it goes. Checks on the touchline, a change about to occur. Delaney. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Hinterega. Tidy challenge, free kick given. And he just 
just whacks it away. There really wasn't very much in that. Not far away from being a telling final ball. Uh, that was just poor decision making and a weak execution. And it's played forward Up towards the hour mark and still no goals and he's there to clear it it's come loose there's a clever pass it out no breakthrough and run into the second period it is still anyone's game he's gone for Plays it out to the wing. He's got away. There are a few waiting for it. It's an insurance goal! Cleared without complication. Denmark have it back and they can go again. Austria have just about everyone back and central. Yeah, clearly they're trying to show strength to what the opposition have seen as a weakness. It's a safety first approach. Alaba. Pulls out on the left now. Looking to win it with time against them. Gets the better of his man. Austria merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Tries to get it forward quickly. Out towards the flank. Goes for the cross. Oh, smart save! That's been one straight back. Lovely bit of skill. Alaba. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. Wilson simply didn't do anything wrong. He was thwarted by brilliance. Dinks one in, and it's got through. That's a case of crossing in hope, then, unless they provide... And that will be the final act. A frustrating game for attackers on either side. They hardly had a sniff. Defence is broadly in charge, and it has finished goalless. Jim, how do you reflect on...